Hi everyone, Jason here, founder of PyQuant News. If you follow me at all, you know I love to talk about backtesting. And the thing I love to talk about most about backtesting is how to lose money backtesting. Most people come in, they think they brute force optimize some input parameters into their strategy until they find the maximum sharp ratio or PL, and then apply those parameters to previously unseen data. That's a great way to lose money very quickly. And as I always say, treat your backtest to tell if your strategy is statistically significant. And that's a great way to start to determine if your strategy is actually fitting to market inefficiencies or overfitting to noise. Let's see how we can do that. We're gonna start with the hyper fast Vector BT library. Vector BT is a brand new backtesting library that lets you run several million simulations of your strategy in just a few seconds. Vector BT comes with great ways to download data. So for today, we're gonna to start a simple moving average strategy that retail investors love. And I'm gonna show you how it overfits and how to test that statistically. Okay, so we've got some data. And we're going to do a walk forward analysis. So if you've never seen a walk forward analysis before, it looks something like this. The blue is the section of data that you're training on, and the orange is the section of data that you're applying your parameters to. Okay? So VectorBT makes it super simple to do this. And in the other data scientists, it's called things like cross-fold validation. Uh, it's very important in all data scientists, in all data sciences. All right, so let's actually create our simulation and find the best parameter. So I know this is a lot of code and it's a bit hard to follow in just a short video. Um, of course, you can always follow PyQuant News and you'll get all of this stuff in your Twitter feed. But essentially what we're doing here is finding out how to optimize our strategy to find the best sharp ratio given to input windows. So if you're unfamiliar with a simple moving average strategy, if a fast moving average increases above a slow moving average then you buy and vice versa when you sell and vector bt makes this very easy to tell and you can see across the different different types of parameter combinations you have a range of sharp ratios so the the y-axis is sharp ratios and the x-axis is different combinations of fast and slow moving average windows so you might say well let me just find the combination that maximizes the sharp ratio and you can see over here it's something like over two and you'll see there's a 24 25 day moving average window that gives us a sharp ratio of like 2.14 great so why don't we just trade those parameters well let's find out when we run our walk forward optimization we can find that we've got an in sample sharp ratio and an out of sample sharp ratio what we can do using scipy is to run a statistical analysis and what you're seeing here is a one-sided t-test where we are testing whether the population mean of the out of sample sharp ratios is actually greater than the population mean of the in sample ratios. And we can see a p-value here of 0 0.858. Usually what we wanna see is a p-value of less than 0 0.05 to tell if this is a statistically significant uh, experiment. So we are pretty safe to say that we cannot claim that the population mean sharp ratio of out of sample or previously unseen data is statistically greater than the in sample data. In other words, you probably overfit your back test. So vector BT is a very great tool to use to very quickly run lots of simulations, but it's also a great tool to understand how to think about backtesting and how to test if your strategy is statistically significant.